Welcome to St. Stephen's Martyr Church. Today is May 23rd, 2021, the Solemnity of Pentecost. Today we celebrate the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, the spirit of love, truth, and unity upon the church. We are brought together as God's children and drawn up into the life and love of the Trinity by this same Spirit, who also transforms our humble offering of bread and wine, our offering of our very selves into the body and blood of Christ. <clears throat> For this, let us give thanks and sing praise to our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome once again and hello to all of you who are joining us in this Mass, watching us and, and um, praying with us. We offer this Mass for all your, your intentions, those who are watching us wherever you are. And, um, the members of our community here at St. Stephen. Thank you, God, for this beautiful church, St. Stephen Martyr Church. Thank you, um, our beloved Archbishop Jose, the people of God of Los Angeles for this beautiful, beautiful church. And we are also uh, very blessed to have with us um, Senor Armando, who's proclaiming God's word. And thank you, Lord, for preparing everything we need. And also EJ for um, recording this mass and Gabriel, thank you for your music. And also we are celebrating a very important uh, feast, the Feast of the uh, Pentecost. Probably it's a solemnity of the P Pentecost, the day when finally Jesus had uh, given to his disciples the promised advocate and helper, who is the Holy Spirit. And we thank God for the Holy Spirit for always, always making God present with us through him, helping us in all we do and continuing to uh, carry out the mission left with us uh, or given us by Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for all the energy, for the inspiration, for the gift of wisdom and knowledge and understanding and strength. Thank you, beloved Holy Spirit. We love you, beloved Holy Spirit. Help us to always rely on you, Holy Spirit. My dear family, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, 
that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 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 God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church and every people and nation. Pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth. And with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together, and suddenly, there came from the sky 
a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as a fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded and in amazement. They asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Perthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Señor alma mía, Señor y Dios, Dios mío, inmensa es su grandeza, te vistes de belleza y majestad, la luz te envuelve como un manto, en día, Señor tu Espíritu. Tiras ti aliento, toda criatura muere y vuelve al polvo, pero envías tu espíritu que da vida y renuevas el aspecto de la tierra. Envía, Señor, tu espíritu a renovar la tierra. Dios sea glorificado para siempre y se goce en sus criaturas. Ojalá que le agraden mis palabras y yo me alegraré en el Señor. Envía, Señor, tu espíritu a renovar la tierra. Lectura de la primera carta del apóstol San Pablo a los Corintios. Hermanos, nadie puede llamar a Jesús Señor si no es bajo la acción del Espíritu Santo. Hay diferentes dones, pero el Espíritu es el mismo. Hay diferentes servicios, pero el Señor es el mismo. Hay diferentes actividades pero Dios, que hace todo en todo, es el mismo. En cada uno se manifiesta el Espíritu para el bien común. Porque así como el cuerpo es uno y tiene muchos miembros, y todos ellos, 
a pesar de ser muchos, forman un solo cuerpo. Así también es Cristo. Porque todos nosotros, seamos judíos o no judíos, esclavos o libres, hemos sido bautizados en un mismo espíritu para formar un solo cuerpo y a todos se nos ha dado a beber del mismo Espíritu. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. Come, Holy Spirit, come, and from your celestial home shed a ray of light divine. Come, Father of the poor, come, source of all our storms, Come within our bosoms shine You of comforters the best You the soul's most welcome guest Sweet refreshment here below In our labor rest most sweet Grateful coolness in the heat Solace in the midst of woe O most blessed light divine Shine within these hearts of yours And our inmost being fill Where you are not, we have not Nothing good in deed or thought Nothing free from taint of ill Heal our wounds, our strength renew On our dryness pour your dew Wash the stains of guilt away Bend the stubborn heart and will, melt the frozen, warm the chill, guide the steps that go astray. On the faithful who adore, and confess you evermore, in your sevenfold gift descend. Give them virtue's sure reward, give them your salvation, Lord, give them joy that never end. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Come Holy Spirit, A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth that proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. So please uh, join us in praying for uh, these intentions, which I'd like us to pray for today. I'd like to, uh, us to pray for my ate, ate tes, um, Maria Teresa Vargas. Down Cruz, <laughs> my one and only sister who's celebrating her birthday come 20, uh, this 27th of May. Happy birthday, Te. I love you. And also, um, we pray for mom and dad, my dad who has passed and I'm wearing his watch here. So happy anniversary, mom, uh, with dad. Um, probably it's your 54th or 53. If I'm not mistaken. Happy anniversary, Dad. Love you. And also, um, pray for uh, Kuya J, Kuya Jun, Rivera, EJ, always, always praying for your father. Uh, Kuya Jun, just hang in there. Uh, we love you. And um, also praying for Rick. So we have these two people who, who uh, we have to pray for. Um, Rick is our uh, Rick is our, our pianist, our musician, music coordinator. So Rick and uh, and June Rivera should always be part of our prayers. So uh, God will heal them. And also, um, we pray for Carol Kimpo for her healing from cancer. Carol Kimpo is uh, a friend of. Atelinda Cruz, who has been cooking for me food. Thank you, Atelinda. So praying also for Royana or Repito, another um, friend of Atelinda. Uh, and also we pray for Kuya Pete. And also uh, this is also a Thanksgiving Mass for all the blessings we've received from the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for uh, always being there for us. Uh, watching over us, guiding us, doing, accomplishing all of our tasks. Um, and also we pray for all of our mothers. Uh, since it's uh, May, Mother's Day, this May, we uh, offer masses, this, all the masses this May for all their, our mothers. Uh, their names are all in here in these envelopes. Uh, please bless mom, you're part of this. And also, um, we pr pray for a ceasefire between the Hamas and the uh, and Israel that this war uh, would stop because there are a lot of people suffering from this war. Please, Lord, um, enlighten Netanyahu and the Hamas leader wherever he is. Praise the Lord. Alleluia. God is the best. All the time I can do everything in Christ who strengthens me. And the Lord is my shepherd. There's, There's nothing, nothing I should want. Um, and I hope you're, you're wearing red. Red is the color for the day. Pentecost, the color of the Holy Spirit. There are so many symbols of the Holy Spirit. It could be the red uh, color because uh, fire. That's, that's how the Holy Spirit is. Uh, gives us energy, the fire. It fires us up to um, evangelize, to Proclaim the gospel boldly like the disciples. Uh, fire <clears throat> could be blood, life. We have no life as a church without the Holy Spirit. So uh, <clears throat> could be, um, so I, I hope you're wearing red. Um, and also uh, it could be symbolized by uh, the dove. Dove is, um, this is just my own interpretation. Perhaps it's because a dove is a, a symbol of gentleness. No? <laughs> So uh, in as much as the, the Holy Spirit is, is a, uh, a, a great force in our church, it's the reason why we are still here uh, and, and we are able to achieve so many things. Um, but, but the Holy Spirit works in, in very quiet, gentle ways. That's how we should be. Holy Spirit, unseen and yet real, is here with us totally, fully present with us. So thank you very much, Lourdes, and Elaine, and uh, Alicia, 
and Martha and Dale and everyone who had helped um, decorate, set up this environment for this Pentecost. Beautiful, beautiful symbols here. The dove, the red cloth here. Thank you. So it's a combo, red and white, still Easter at the same time, celebrating the um, Pentecost Sunday. So anyway, uh, that's a long <laughs> intro. But anyway, um, um, one of my favorite expressions is, especially when I'm going through something, is this too shall pass. This too shall pass. See, we're almost at the end of pandemic. Uh, however, in some countries it's not. It's not the case. Uh, like India and some countries in Asia, but at least here, here in our place, um, we're just, we're feeling like uh, we're go going back to normal. No, EJ? <laughs> uh, so thank you, Lord, because anything, even this terrible pandemic, anything, everything passes. So when you're going through something, just remind yourself, say this expression, this too shall pass, whatever uh, sickness, who knows, with God's miracle, Kuya J will heal and Rick. All this uh, painful, painful, whatever we're going through right now, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. But there's something which doesn't pass. You know what that is? The Catholic Church. <laughs> Everything is past. It's passed away. People, institutions, um, the Romans, the Nazis, Hitler, the communists soon will pass. All these, these um, the enemies of the church, they're gone. The Beatles, they're gone. Who uh, said we're uh, more popular than Jesus Christ? Where's John Lennon? He's gone. But not the Catholic Church. And there's this um, um, book of Jim Collins, Built to Last. He's sharing the book, uh, Secrets of How Companies, Corporations, um, were able to manage to, um, to last for a long period of time while some other companies did not. Built to last. But you know what? All these corp corporations that he's mentioned in the church, uh, in the book, <laughs> pretty soon they will also pass. They will be gone. They're simply human institutions, or human, uh, human organizations. What is the only thing that will, was built to last? This thing here. <laughs> this is the only thing that's built to last forever and never. Some institutions, probably say 50 years, or even 100 years, but they're not forever but not the Catholic Church. Built, what's the reason? <laughs> reason, in and of nothing here. The reason why it's still here after 20 centuries, 20 centuries, Lord is, is it correct? 20 centuries. The reason, probably the secret, is why we're praying to the Holy Spirit today. We thank him. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us your promised advocate. Advocate is somebody who, who speaks up for us, who defends us, and that's the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit which has spoken for us or through us is why um, we were able to um, weather, to uh, endure all the all forms of in any shape and form all persecutions <laughs> because the holy spirit was able to defend us speak for us and accomplish all these amazing things um miracles that made the church uh, what sustain uh, uh endure all these, all these um, persecutions, the, the difficulties, the challenges, the storms, the earthquakes, 
because of the Holy Spirit. So thank you, Jesus, for giving us, for, for being true to your promise that you will send us a helper. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, because this helper is the source of power. Why we were able to endure everything after so many centuries, it's the Holy Spirit. The power to, uh, like in the, the um, readings for this Sunday, the power to understand the truth which Jesus had spoken to the disciples, the power to understand. And, there, and Jesus said, you, you won't be able to understand everything I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but wait for the helper, the Holy Spirit. Because of him, you will be able to understand and much more proclaim these truths. You will be able to preach these truths, even if these truths are uh, something the world will not accept. So the power to preach, they were, they were able to do that. The power to preach and be understood. Remember? They were, they were preaching to, uh, to everyone, people coming from different places, and they were, they were understood. That was a miracle. <laughs> um, and who were the preachers? Simple Galilean fishermen. <laughs> oh no, holy Moses. Imagine, the Holy Spirit made everything happen. It did the work. So, uh, just imagine uh, we're, we're different, just like uh, what happened in the, the first reading, uh, Acts of the Apostles. Um, through, through the Holy Spirit, the, the, uh, these disciples were able to, to uh, unite all these people coming from different places. The same thing with us. We're different from each other. And just imagine, just, just think of marriage. <laughs> composed of two people who are different from each other. And a lot of marriages don't last. <laughs> How much more a huge organization or institution like the church, we're different from each other. We speak different languages, have different colors, coming from different uh, countries. Uh, we think differently, <laughs> having different kinds of cultures, traditions, and yet until now, after 20 centuries, this church is still one. <laughs> Isn't that a miracle? <laughs> wow. Of course, there, <laughs> there are fighting inside the church. It's besides the external, external, um, what is this? Uh, external forces trying to destroy the church. There's also an internal force destroying the church coming from within, and yet we're still here. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> wow. Catholic Church, because of the Holy Spirit. So, um, this is why uh, we're able to, do, to still continue the work of Jesus. Probably without the Holy Spirit, we, we won't be able to. We won't be able to. With, with all these people trying to um, push us away, uh, destroy us, uh, with, with a strong uh, worldly culture um, surrounding us, it's difficult. But with the Holy Spirit, we're able to. Um, we have the energy. We have the, um, again, this is built to last, man. This is built to last. This work of Jesus will continue. It's not going to stop. It's not going to stop. Nobody can stop this <laughs> because of the Holy Spirit. So um, a lot of wonderful things still to happen because the Holy Spirit is, uh, blows wherever it goes. A lot of surprises. So um, watch out for that. And... Um, just, uh, we just would like to, we would like us to encourage ourselves and even you know, encourage, not encourage, to urge, 
urge ourselves to always pray to the Holy Spirit. Always rely on the Holy Spirit. It's just tough. Every single day is tough for some people. Like tough at work. <laughs> you have a new, new position given you. and You don't like that position. What do you know about that? But it's given you. Holy Spirit will help you to even appreciate what comes uh, along the way, what's thrown at us. Bring it on! <laughs> With the Holy Spirit, we can, we can handle it. We can handle it. So let us not be scared. Um, life is full of challenges. The church will always face uh, persecution after persecution, uh, rejection, scandals, but with the Holy Spirit, we will remain intact. We will be able to continue our mission to evangel love. <laughs> evangel love. Um, in, the, um, in the Acts of the Apostles, the, the apostles were able to speak in, in uh, human languages understandable to those who listen to them. Um, no matter where they came from. But I guess with the Holy Spirit, it's more important that we speak a humane language. <laughs> Thanks to Bishop Ambo for this, uh, Father Deo from the Men of Light. They have shared something about humane language, which the Holy Spirit would help us to, to speak. What is human language is different. Human language is this language. It could be English or Spanish, but humane language is is it may not be spoken, but, but uh, still understood by the blind, by the deaf. What is that? Love. Love. With the Holy Spirit, may we be able to respond to whatever is thrown at us, be it discrimination, racial injustice, physical harm, whether it be poverty, being laid off, we will always respond with the humane language of love and respect and kindness, forgiveness, mercy, understanding, and wisdom. And um, hopefully we will always pray every day, come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and, and kindle in them Kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit. They shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O oh God, by the light of the Holy Spirit, did instruct the hearts of your faithful. Granted by the same spirit, we may always be truly wise and never to rejoice in this consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. We love you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Please help us, Holy Spirit. Amen. Who does not profess our faith? I believe in one in God. In one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. <clears throat> I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and became man and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became men. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in one holy Lord, 
the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we bring our prayers before the Lord, may he send out his spirit and renew the face of the earth. For all who are to receive the sacrament of confirmation, that they may use the Spirit's gifts wisely, we pray to the Lord. <laughs> Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Para los que aún no han oído hablar del Espíritu Santo, puedan conocer la perfecta relación de Dios, uno y trino, roguemos al Señor. Señor, escucha, escucha nuestra, nuestra oración. oración. For nations there are at war, that a spirit of peace may reign in the hearts of all responsible for the violence and discord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Por nosotros, para que al abrazar los dones del Espíritu Santo, podamos hallar nuevas y creativas formas de expresar el amor de Dios, Roguemos al Señor, Señor, escucha nuestra oración. For all who have died, especially for those who have experienced great suffering in their final days, that they may know God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's also include in our prayers all the mothers we offer a message for this month of May for peace in the world, especially between the Israel and Hamas, Palestinians. We pray for Kuya June Rivera and Rick Erhart and their families. And healing also of all the other uh, members of our church who are ill. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Creator God, you offer us new life through our baptism in Christ, and our communion in the Holy Spirit. May we always renew our commitment to this invitation. So as to respond to you with great joy, help us to use wisely the gifts bestowed on us by the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Celia Guerrero, who has donated this chalice to St. Stephen Martyr. Thank you very much, Celia. Celia, we love you, and thank you for all the kindness, the generosity, and the love you've shown to St. Stephen. We are praying for you and your families. Thank you, Josephine and Michael, the rest of your family. Pray, my dear family, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with you. your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. <clears throat> Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Santo eres en verdad, Señor, fuente de toda santidad. Por eso te pedimos que santifiques esos dones con la infusión de tu espíritu, de manera que se conviertan para nosotros el cuerpo y la sangre de Jesucristo nuestro Señor, el cual cuando iba a ser entregado a su pasión voluntariamente aceptada, tomó pan, dándote gracias. Lo partió y lo dio a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y coman todos de él. Porque esto es mi cuerpo, que será entregado por ustedes.
Pel mismo modo acabar la cena, tomó el cáliz y dándote gracias de nuevo, lo pasó a sus discípulos diciendo, Tomen y beban todos de él, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva y eterna, que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía. Ese es el misterio de la fe. Anunciamos tu muerte, Señor. Proclamamos tu resurrección. Ven, Señor. Ven, Señor Jesús. Así pues, Padre, al celebrar ahora el memorial de la muerte y resurrección de tu Hijo, te ofrecemos el pan de vida y el cáliz de salvación. Y te damos gracias porque nos haces dignos de servirte en tu presencia. Te pedimos humildemente que el Espíritu Santo congregue en la unidad. Cuando participamos del cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo, recuerda, Señor, de tu iglesia extendida por toda la tierra y con el Papa Francisco, con nuestro arzobispo, José, y todos los pastores que cuidan de tu pueblo, llévala a su perfección por la caridad. Acuérdate también de nuestros hermanos que se durmieron en la esperanza de la resurrección y de todos los que han muerto en tu misericordia. Admíralos a contemplar la luz de tu rostro. Y pause for a moment and offer this prayerful silence for all of our mothers. We're praying for this month of May. Ten misericordia de todos nosotros y así con María la Virgen, Madre de Dios, su esposo San José, los apóstoles y cuando se vieron en tu amistad, a través de los tiempos, merezcamos por tu Hijo Jesucristo compartir la vida eterna y cantar tus alabanzas. Por Cristo con él y en él, a ti Dios Padre omnipotente, en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, todo honor y toda gloria por los siglos de los siglos. the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, nine forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. The Lord. peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. With your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, everyone, with your family. Armando, Lourdes, E.J., Gabriel. Mom, Dad, Ate A. Luther, Ate Kriya T, Mary Elizabeth. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Comunión espiritual. Creo, Jesús mío, que estás real y verdaderamente en el cielo y en el santísimo sacramento del altar. Te amo sobre todas las cosas y deseo ardientemente recibirte dentro de mi alma, mas no pudiendo hacerlo ahora sacramentalmente, ven al menos espiritualmente a mi corazón. Y como si ya te hubiera recibido, te abrazo y me uno del todo a ti. Señor, no permitas que jamás me aparte de ti. Amén. Prayer to Our Lady of Guadalupe. Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your son as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving mother, and gain for our nation and world, and for all our families and loved ones, the protection of your holy angels, that we may be separated the worst of the illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother, health of the sick, and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms. Help us always to know the love of your son, Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given. That the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that the spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And why won't you not pray to somebody who has helped this human institution to uh, survive all the trials and crisis. Why won't you? <laughs> so always pray to the Holy Spirit. Always pray to the Holy Spirit. We have a lot of, we have the Google to teach us the prayer, come Holy Spirit. Pray it. Whether you do something small or big, ask for the help of the Holy Spirit. The reason why we mess up is because we rely on our own strength. Rely on the Holy Spirit. There's such power and grace with the Holy Spirit. And at the end of the day, before you hit the sack, say, thank you, Holy Spirit, for having survived this day full of challenges. It's all because of you. Give him all the credit. If ever we were able to do something, uh, to contribute in the success um, of the work or mission, you were able to contribute 0.0001%. <laughs> the rest is the Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit, thank you. We love you. And uh, Senor Armando, do we have the prayer to St. Joseph? Yes. Please, could you please say it for us? Appreciate it. Prayer for the year of St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his holy son, his only son. In you may be placed, in you Mary placed her trust. With you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. 
obtain for us the grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Thank you, Deacon uh, Senor Armando. St. Joseph, thank you. And once again, happy birthday, Te. I really love you, and um, you're the reason why um, I came here. And also, I'm happy because of you, Te. I love all those uh, times we walk together, uh, the park uh, in, um, in Artisha. Thank you, Te, for all that you do for me, all the free haircuts, the delicious Filipino foods. Thank you, Te. Thank you, Mabi, Mary Elizabeth, and Kuya Tony. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may your Almighty spirit. God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying God by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to you. God. Bye, everyone. See you next Sunday. Love you. Bye. It's the